So I got a new Kai camera, as I say, out with the old and in with the new. It's Friday. I've had equipment issues all week. I've had not a single image to take to show you. I have recorded every night. So this video is going to be some cut together amalgamation of the lot. But yes, equipment issues, clouds, since pass, since the 9th of March. Hopefully that changes tonight. Even though I've already had some issues actually, SynScan doesn't want to connect anymore. So I'm back to using EQ mod. Go figure, I don't even know why I've got this. It's, there's nothing in it. Anyway, let's not dwindle on the negatives. Apart from PHD 2.6.6 not working at all and having no guidance so I've actually reverted back to 2.6.5 and seen if that works any better. We won't talk about that yet. It's a Friday as I already mentioned. It's the weekend. I'm not at work tomorrow. The forecast is clear until 3 o'clock in the morning. Actually it's more clear until 6 a.m. but no. It's clear until about 3 o'clock in the morning. There is no moon. I think it was Trevor over at Astro Backyard, who said this is astrophotography prime time. As long as everything works. God, I hope my equipment don't do me dirty today because I really want to actually get a good image to show you out of this brand new Hypercam. I've not got anything decent yet. So I want to shoot galaxies. What have I got to shoot? I've got the Leo triplet, I've got Macarian's chain and Vicky in the UK Cloud Magnus also just made me think about shooting the Sunflower Galaxy because she put a really heartbreaking story associated with it. But I think tonight we're going for the Macarian's chain because that's the one I really want to shoot, plus Sunflower Galaxy Circumpolar so I can shoot that anytime. We're going for Macarian's chain. A galaxy cluster, cluster? A galaxy chain, clues in the name, in the constellation Virgo. It'll be raising about in that direction. And it'll be going all the way over there because that's myself over there somewhere. So please join me for whatever hideous Frankenstein video I cobbled together using three days worth of video. So join me today as we hopefully image Macarian's chain with this bad boy right here. One amazing part about this hobby sometimes is just sitting outside and just watching the stars begin to appear. So Makarian Strain is currently rudely being blocked by this tree as it's up there somewhere. So what I'm doing right now is over in Orion to focus. I have this 3D printed full aperture pattern of mask for my ATED, which was graciously 3D printed by a member of the Cloud Magnus, Jay Bolt. So thank you very much, Jay. It's coming in a lot of handy. It's coming in a lot of handy. Yes, I can English. And what you can see here is the power of said pattern of mask. If you make an adjustment, you see this, you see the line running through the middle. Shows you that that's out of focus. But you make an adjustment, wait for it to refresh. I might be taking half second exposures here, but maybe a bit longer. So we're nearly in focus, a little touch on the fine control. So we're just making these minimal adjustments. 
until that line that going through the middle of the X is as dead centre as possible. I'm happy with that, we're going to lock that off. I'm just going to make sure when it's finished vibrating. Yeah, I'm happy with that focus. And yes, I am plate solving. It's lovely. Astrophotography can be frustrating, it can be demoralising, uh, it can be upsetting. You wait so long for a clear night and then you lose it to equipment issues or other unforeseen circumstances. But you try and you try and you try and you work each problem as it comes. You seek help, you seek advice and you work the issues. And you'll get there eventually. And then you'll get a good night and you'll get some images and it'll all remind you why you do this. So keep at it, we'll all get there.